All right, what is going on guys? It's Janik. I'm going to show you how to take a build that you can get at a very low level, 1 through 10, and bring yourself all the way up to uh, power level 100. So the base of this build, you're going to be finding, you're going to be grinding a lot of Soggy Swamp. So Soggy Swamp drops Scatter Bows and, uh, not Soul Knives, uh, Daggers, which are very important for the build. A actually, you could also use the Legendary Double Axe that I am actually using. Uh, called the whirlwind but first and foremost the most important part of this build is a harp crossbow or a scatter crossbow either one will work with multi-shot you need that multi-shot or the projectiles that buffs up your quivers these are all mandatory everything i say is pretty much mandatory for this build you can play around with it for a little bit the chest is not mandatory i'll get to that though so you're gonna want the flaming quiver you want the fireworks arrow and you want the Torment Quiver. You can farm these in the Creeper Woods for the Torment qu Quiver. Um, the Redstone Mines has the Firework Arrows. And Fiery Forge has the Flaming Quiver. So once you get those, you're pretty much golden. You will be able to farm pretty much all the way up to level uh, 100 or whatever. Uh, power level 108 is the max. <laughs> so, after you get all that stuff... You can use your uh, chest to benefit you however you want to benefit. Uh, I'm using an artifact damage one, but you can also use artifact uh, cooldown. You can use uh, melee attack speed. Not melee attack speed. Uh, actually, you can use melee attack speed because we'll get to that. Uh, we can use range attack speed, range attack damage, whatever you think you need. The best uh, enchants for these, I love potion barrier so strong. Definitely get that if you can. Protection is my second favorite enchant. So if you get both of those, you're going to be quite tanky. And then the third one, optional with your build. A speed, something that gives you speed after rolling would be good. And for your main hand, I'm using the Whirlwind Double uh, Axe. But you can use the daggers. Daggers have so much attack speed. You pretty much just want any on hand, first, uh, yeah, on hand, that has a lot of attack speed. And then you need Radiance. Radiance is what's going to help you... Uh, sustain yourself because it, it heals you as a 25 uh, 20 percent chance on hit to heal you for 629 damage that scales with how high the item level is but you know what i mean you can get if you can get a double radiance on hand the health healed is doubled so you can heal a lot by just uh, pounding away at an enemy instead of using your pots um Echo is really good for getting your attack speed up if you can't manage to get a dagger or anything else with uh, with the Radiance on it. So just get a high attack speed weapon with Radiance. That's pretty much it for the build. I hope you can get there. Good luck grinding. If you have any questions, I'm live daily at twitch.tv slash The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.